Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back guys. I am Rofia Seen and you guys are watching my YouTube channel. And in this tutorial series we are developing e-commerce web application using ASP.NET Core MVC. In previous video we have created this brand new ASP.NET Core MVC project. Uh, and we have selected ASP.NET Core MVC template. In this video we are going to basically have a quick look uh, what files uh, we have got when we created this uh, project and what is the folder structure and uh, what is the basically uh, these files folders and what is the the things like a basic introduction of these for files folder structures and how uh, our application is getting started and all the things so let's get started so in the previous video we've created this project and we got a bunch of files as a boilerplate uh, when we created a uh, or ASP.NET Core MVC application by selecting MVC template. So you can see we have selected this pound saving store was the name of our solution and inside solution we have created pound saving store dot web as a web project because we have we will be using repository pattern and we will be creating two three more projects within the, this uh, solution so that's why we have given names like this. And the next thing is uh, you can come to over here is the connected servers and servers and we don't have uh, connected services and we don't have any uh, services connected at the moment and the next thing is dependencies when you expand this you can see over here we have analyzers frameworks and packages it basically these dependencies contains all the installed NuGet packages uh, we can manage NuGet packages by right clicking on this and manage NuGet packages. When, whenever you will install some packages from NuGet, those pa packages will reside within this dependencies. And currently, if you click here on the packages, and you can see we have uh, when we have created this ASP.NET Core MVC application, and we, we we have configured this MVC runtime, and that that package is automatically added within this. And if you go here in the frameworks, you can see we are using ASP.NET Core MVC framework. So that's why you can see later on we will be using entity framework or identity that will be shown here. And if you come here analyzer and basically these are analyzers for all the frameworks uh, what we are using uh, like we have core analyzers, component analyzer and the things. So after that we have properties uh, folder and within this folder we have launch settings dot json file so basically it contains uh, all the launch setting related things so what what does it mean by launch settings basically uh, launching profiles so we have iis we have project we are, we are using debug and whether we want to use our application in iis whether we want to use in uh, Kestrel web server, Kestrel web server, or we are using IIA Express. When we, we when we are selecting a profile from here, these are all settings will be applied to that profile. So basically, if you see here, we have IIA setting, and it is we have like this is a key and this is a value. Like Windows authentication is a queue and false is a, a window. Windows authentication is a key and false is a Value. So basically, this launch setting uh, 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 launch settings dot JSON file contains key value pairs related settings to the to our launch profiles. So you can see SSL port is this application URL. Your application will be live at this URL. And if you come here in the project setting, you can see we have configured HTTPS. That's why it is pointing out to two connections. And if you uh, and over here this is very important ASP net core underscore environment variable and it is uh, currently set to development when we are uh, in a production or in a testing so we'll have to change this value this is very important by the way okay so after this uh, launch settings dot JSON we, we have this www folder www root folder which is basically a web root folder of ASP.NET Core MVC application and we can put all the static files within this things like images JavaScript files CSS files so you can see we have CSS folder JS folder and we have some external libraries when when we will be 
installing like when we will be installing things uh, from many NuGet packages that will reside here inside dependencies. When we are installing client side libraries like Bootstrap, uh, jQuery, Fontasm, uh, and all the clients and libraries, when we, we will be installing clients and libraries that will reside within this folder and within this lib folder. And we can also create uh, like HTML templates, images, folders within this. And in order to uh, manage clients and libraries, the only thing we'll have to do is right click, add and we'll have to do go to client side library and then you can select your desired client side library we will be adding uh, several client side libraries so don't worry about that so next thing is a controller obviously uh, this is mvc application and it has controllers models and views and you are already familiar with it Con controllers basically contains classes uh, which have action results or endpoints of uh, which respond to the request of users then we have models which is like a, a domain model of uh, our application and we have views related to our application so if you come here currently you can see we have home controller we have one view model and we have uh, the folder home within the views uh, which is equal, like same name for the controller so whenever we will be adding a new controller and we will be adding uh, the uh, views related to that controller it will automatically create that same folder and let's say we are requesting an actual result the, uh, within the home controller that is returning the view first of all it will look for that view within the same name folder in views and if it doesn't find any view within this folder then it will go and search to the shared folder so uh, so basically it will uh, search within two folders for uh, like uh, what, what view it, 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 it will have to return it will search within the same folder or within the shared folder okay so basically if you come here in the shared folder it have some shared views like layout partial scripts errors dot html and things like view imports when we want to import things in multiple multiple views so it's better to add here and this view imports will be automatically applied to uh, to the views these namespaces and this is a view start but it, which is basically setting up the layout of our view so after that we have very important file which is app settings.json it is basically an application configuration file uh, which is used to store configuration settings such as connection string uh, uh, global variables and it if you if you can see it is also uh, this is the name of setting this is the further uh, like next level name of setting and then we have key value pair setting so this is q and key and this is value so when when we will be creating uh, connection strings uh, external api keys key values we will be storing here for the time being but later on we will use user secrets to hide these the, uh, the sensitive information from here but we can also store global variables and uh, like key value pair settings within this we will be creating some settings so this is basically a same as in asp.net mvc we we had like we have like web.config file so this is the app settings.json file uh, and the purpose is similar like web.config file so after that basically we have another important class program.cs and which is the you can say the main entry point of our application so you can see within this program class we have main method and if you remember your previous development if you have any experience with the previous variant of .NET frameworks uh, especially console applications or WinForm application, uh, uh, you can, you should be, uh, you should know. Like we have this main method in every console or WinForm application. We should, we have this application, but we are, we have this main method, and it is the entry point for console application and WinForm applications. But the point is, we are using ASP.NET Core MVC web application and from where this man method is coming on so here basically the uh, microsoft updated uh, its 
its behavior it was not same in the asp.net mvc but now our asp.net core web applications uh, initially starts as a console application so basically this main method uh, is passing these command line arguments and it is calling another method create host builder and passing these uh, command line arguments and when we start our application uh, runtime executes our application and it, it first it looks for this main method if it is found then it starts the execution and it is calling this create host builder which is here in the create host builder and as you, as you can see that create host builder uh, is further than creating some uh, using some extensions method like create default builder and passing that command line arguments then configure a web host builder and it is again calling another class within this like startup.cs so basically we have look it is calling again build method then it is like return type of this method is i host builder it is returned to this then it is calling the next method build and then it is calling the next method run and what it is doing within this startup class so if you go to this startup class you can see by default we have two methods within this startup class uh, configure services method and a configure method so basically this configure services method is an uh, uh, you can say this container for registering the services because uh, asp.net core MV mvc is based on uh, is using dependency injection by default so whatever services we want to use within our controllers and uh, in our application we'll have to register those services uh, within this, this ser configure services container so order doesn't matter in this section but we'll have to add services to this container in order to uh, follow the dependency injection uh, uh, like workflow we'll have to register services within this container and another important uh, method uh, uh, we have within this uh, startup.cs class is configure which can basically we, this is the middleware of uh, our application so you can see uh, you can see env which is basically a web, web host environment and we are checking if it is development and this is what i have shown you in the app settings uh, properties launch settings.json asp.net core environment variable which is set to development so basically we are using that and checking if it is development then use exception page otherwise use these kinds of errors then we have https redirection because we have configured our application for https when we've created this application then it, we have static files routing authorization and these are endpoints so this is basically when 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 it comes to like after this when it passed to this sort of view settings so it goes it register the services it goes through all this middleware and it then it starts looking for uh, endpoint so in the endpoint we have currently we have home controller and it is setting by default home controller and this is the action result and this is id is an optional parameter so this is the middleware and order is very 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 important here so uh, over here you can add services at any order doesn't matter but when it comes to middleware this is your pipeline of your application web application so you will have to take care of your uh, uh, Mm, your like order of your application it is very very important you will have to take care of uh, this middleware order so i think that's it we have uh, uh, we have covered everything related to this this will be like a uh, basic information of all the files and folders what we have got when we created our asp.net core mvc application and i think that's it uh, in the next video we'll start working on further uh, bits what we have to set up and we'll be trying to uh, set up things as, as as quick as possible so that we get to our main focus so thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in the next video bye